Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rain and we are playing some more Life is Strange. Um, so I said in the last episode that I was going to start it by speaking to Mr. Jefferson. Excuse so, me, Max. Go. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw yes. David Madsen <laughs> harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yeah. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? Hmm. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Is that a truth. Shakespeare quote? I feel like Have that was a Shakespeare quote. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... One. Excuse me, Max. Hello? Unprofessional. That is unprofessional. Yes? Very, very unprofessional. Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Right. Okay. Okay. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 I'm kind of doing something, Dana. You are out of control. Turn left, then... That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Show me the love. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana Taylor? after Hayden you gets his like paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. He has high expectations. I like the rain on the effect of the rain on the windows is like really cool. Not now, Max. I'm oh. contemplating shit. I got an achievement. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't get one of the chemistry stuff. I probably should have done that. Oh well. Do you think? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, uh, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Was that a threat? That sounded like a threat. Assholes. I don't like that guy. Am I allowed to, like, punch them? Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. I mean, how did you see that? Oh. You 
just look worse every time I see what you. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today yeah, sure. and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how- It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo you tips. Have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. So here, let me use the camera, which is loud. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves. I guess ourselves Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Participation. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo Sorry. in the contest, <laughs> like Max Caulfield, for example. Hi. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. I like the shadow that play that gives photography that's a good such chiaroscuro. visual chiaroscuro? power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my. No! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, Check it. do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That. Dismissed. <gasps> See that? Is this for real? It's flipped oh. out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Come on. Oh God. Uh, she can't die. She can't. Oh Not my again. Word. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Are we gonna collapse oh we've used it too much and we've like frozen everything and we've like paused it all keep going max you can do it okay come on okay they're leading me on a very specific path, like the umbrella's in the way. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to the roof. I don't have to like, clamber through the rest of the building. That would just be painful. Yes. gonna happen anyway. Like, we didn't help enough. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Run out of I juice. have to do this Run out of juice. by myself? Did you Could come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? Mm. This is gonna be sick. I had no idea what was going on between you and David. Really? So you took a picture to find out? How else would I find out? You'll find out if I jump right now. 
Everybody will. Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate, your life is still yours. It's not the answer. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please You're trust me. Do it anyway. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. I unless I jump. Option. No! I... I don't know if it's a combination of I didn't help enough earlier on or if they were the wrong choices, but... Okay, that's... I know that. this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. Mm. As principal of Blackwell Academy, there I take go. my duty seriously. Mm. I oh, take the well-being of every student more seriously. No, you like the money. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. That's jumping. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Oh. Now for me. Miss okay. Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying yeah. to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. 
And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Except I have proof. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... Not proof. You don't Hold sound on. Sure about this that. isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. Mm -hmm. We will continue this conversation later, when the police finish their own investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. Ugh, this is major bullshit. I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I, I am how sorry. About how David. he was in the military. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Because we don't have proof about the other ones. And Mr. Well, Jackson I think we know less now than when we emotional. started. So I don't want to get him we'll involved. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. That was a shifty look. Hmm? Has this gone into chapter three? I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode there because I don't know if that's the third chapter or not. No, because there was an end. Let's just re resume. Watching her I feel like drop it's not. like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate I was on that roof for her reasons. Not yours. Maybe. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? Yeah, what the really hell like is it. this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. An eclipse. Max, there was no Shouldn't eclipse scheduled happen. today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. That's not worrying. This will be the end, I think.
I can't tell if it's creepy or if he's trying to put like evidence together. Okay, so that's the end of the chapter. Sarah, I'm in the minority with saving her. Ah! To be fair, it does seem like I picked like the minority options a lot of the time. Okay. So with these... Okay. So interesting. Um, I'm really curious what the other options give you, but of course that would just require like consistent replaying. Um, maybe another time I would do that to find out the other endings, but I also know that there's like a combination. For example, I think, yeah, like this one, there's three options and each one of them is going to have a different outcome, presumably. So it's, it's interesting. Um, I'm really curious how this kind of continues and obviously... I, I don't necessarily think I'm making the right decisions. I don't think necessarily think I'm making the right choices. And that's okay, because that's the whole point of this game. Like, hindsight is a wonderful thing, and it's also one of the biggest curses. So, I will get whatever outcome I get, um, and that will kind of just have to be it. We, you know, um, it's like real life. There's once it's finished, once it's done, there's no going over. So once the chapter is, I know obviously we can change things within the chapters, but once the chapter's ended, that's fixed, then will affect the rest of the playthrough. And that's okay because, hey, that's gonna give us the outcome that our decisions made. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I think this game is showing that quite well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Get this a chat a bit for the next chapter. Bye.